Hello all, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 with Momo. Um, so I recorded some more. Uh, unfortunately, I was trying to get used to my new mic, my blue snowball. Uh, and again, I'm going to have to do some more voiceovers. Um, unfortunately, I hadn't had my equipment set up properly. So we'll shoot for next recording to have everything working out perfectly. Anyways, we're going to continue our file. And, uh, yeah. So we gotta go to single player. And then story. story select. And then hero. I'm Knuckles the Echidna. Just call me Knuckles. Alright, Knuckles the Echidna. The signal I was getting from the Master Emerald. I found myself in this world canyon. It sure feels creepy. But I'm not afraid of ghosts. I have to find the pieces of the Master Emerald now. Alright, let's do this. With the awesome music in the Halloween town and stuff. Pumpkin Hill. Alright, get ready for some more confusion and aggravation, kids. So if at any point I seem to be slow... Oh, Shovel Claw. You can dig into the ground. Right, okay, so pretty much I fly and I come off of a fly by digging into the ground. Uh, anyways, if I seem to be slow or just not finding the emeralds within a certain amount of time, I will cut up the video and I will skip into a point where I'm getting closer to the emeralds. So yeah. Here's the one thing. I was having a difficult time trying to... That would be the shovel claw. I was having a difficult time trying to figure out how to work the train cart system thing here. I figured it would break one of the walls, but did not. And I saw some eyes in that area. That was weird. Anyways, Pumpkin Mountain. Alright, thanks for the tip. Because, you know, all these mountains seem to be pumpkins and flying a nuke. Alright, we're close to one. <clears throat> oh! Behind the blazing fire skull, and so oh, it's right there. Cool. All right, so that one was pretty quick. Let's climb up here, see if we can get a good view. I'm sorry if I don't talk much in this episode. I just really like the music in it. It's very catchy, and I'm not really the person to typically like rap music, so. <laughs> This is a pretty odd occasion. Maybe it's just because it was something from my childhood. And I tend to hold on to those things. Now, where might another one be? That's the question. Everything in this map looks so similar, it's hard to differentiate where you're going. Now, what does this one say? Ghost Train Mountain. How insightful. If I recall, there are a couple ghost trains. Can I view this one? Oh, no, it's, it's C2. 
Alright, what's up here? Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting close. And oh, hey, big the cat. What's up? What's up, man? It's close. Ooh. All right, cool, cool. Now I need to find the last one. Her turn to go in her favor. Is it over here? It is not. Goodbye, enemy. Alright. Try and make it to the giant mountain. Oh, there's a chow box. Chow world! Oh. Bearded mountain? I don't know. I don't see a pumpkin with a beard, so... That's, um... That one's questionable. A lot of the hints in this game aren't very insightful. Alright. Let's see. Give this another try. Oh, that was probably not the best idea. What does this one say? Church Mountain. Man, they like to name their mountains. Really, really stupidly. Bearded Mountain, Church Mountain. What the hell am I doing? Oh, that was awkward. I can't just flex all day for the ladies, I gotta find some master emeralds. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so how come I just noticed by looking at all the pumpkins in the background of the mountains? That one's sad. The rest of them are happy. Or evil. Hmm. Alright, well at least at this point I'm gonna split it and we'll come back to it when I get close to the emerald. So I'll see future me in a second. All right, so uh, around this part, I had a lot of trouble trying to find some master emerald, or the emerald shard. I really could not find it. Like. It was right on the tip of my tongue, and then I just kind of realized, okay, so maybe it's not exactly where I'm looking, but it's got to be around here. So what I quickly noticed after trying and trying and trying just to dig into this wall. It was behind me on this floating island to the right of the screen. Which I quickly notice when I get to the top. Well, thank you very much, Oma Chow. I will take this bat and I will take my leave. But anyways, so you guys know where it is. I figured I'd let you watch me struggle a bit more so I don't ruin all the fun. But yes. And smart me comes to the realization that hey, is it maybe at the top? But it wasn't. It was just kind of in the middle. Do 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 give me another E have to try harder you do you really do need to try harder you are failing me as a human being I am ashamed Ciao world
All right, let's go feed our babies. After I go visit the kindergarten, because the kindergarten's cool. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a black market in here, but I can name my child the fortune teller. Health center. Oh, okay. So I need to bring my child back here to see the doctor, the pedophile doctor. Because he looked pretty friggin' scary there. Now he looks like a doctor. Tips. Alright. Let's see. Raising. I will tell you how to raise chow. The eggs in the garden are chow eggs. They will hatch by themselves, but you can also help it hatch by holding it. Your chow's personality will change depending on how the egg is hatched. Try different ways to raise your chow. Hmm, let's read more tips. Chow love to eat tree fruit. Tree fruits, excuse me. Chow grow healthy by eating tree fruits. You can find the fruits and trees in the garden. Press the B button to grab a tree and use the left stick to shake it. The tree fruits will fall on the ground. Have you seen the small animals? Small animals are hidden in the action stages. Give the animals to Chow and watch them change or learn special abilities. Besides small animals, there are Chow's drives in the action stages. Give them to your chow and they will de and they will change. Depending on what kind of animals or color of chow's drives you give them, they will change. Try all kinds of combinations. Small animals may be hiding in many places, so try your best of finding try your best to find them all. There are three different chow gardens. Chow will grow up differently in each garden. At first, only one garden is open. To get the other two gardens, there are some special requirements. Have you seen all three gardens? No, I have not. Chow love to be held or petted. Well that was a given. Only pet your chow when it's good and don't spoil your chow or it may turn out to be naughty. Ooh. Sometimes spoiled rotten chow are still cute though. That is true. Um, mating. Okay. You will be able to tell it's mating season when you see flowers blooming around your chow. Mate them and they may lay eggs. Ooh. Wait. How do I tell if they're boy or girl chows though? Because like I don't want to I don't want to accidentally, like, yeah, I think, I think everyone sees where I'm going with this. I don't want to, I don't want to have to explain this, but I, what, like, what if, what if these chows are brother and sister too, huh? I don't want to do that. Well, this is going to be some mating problems to come in the future. And someone's drowning. You always gotta drown on me, don't you? Anyways, now bats usually get rid of their feet. Let's see. Ah, that's stupid. I want you to have no feet. Eat up, and we'll feed all the vials or the chow's drives, apparently, to this chow here. And now we gotta feed him. Oh, what the hell happened there? Here we go. See, these look like, like, I don't know if these flowers were here before. This is what I'm curious about with the flowers blooming around them when they're ready to mate. I'm not 100% sure. At any rate, um, let's see. Gotta make sure they eat and get healthy, or you know, Uncle Nux is gonna have to teach you a lesson. You know what I'm saying? I think he knows what I'm saying. I love how I'm not even touching him, yet he's just loving it. And I just realized that his knuckles are like steel now. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can't mate these two. Yeah, look, I'm like shoving a metal claw into this thing's face. <laughs> I'm like holding it hostage. <laughs> like, don't move or I'll cut your throat with my knuckle. Alright, so I can't take the chows out with me yet. I have to go in a single player to do that. So I think I'll do that after. Soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the 
beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> Oh god, come on, another Star Wars scene. That looks like Metroid from uh, from the Samus game. Oh, now it looks like Eggman. Um, so what's with all these Star Wars, like, Death Star blowing up, uh, can't remember the name of the planet. Anyways, the Death Star blowing up crap. See, he blew up one planet with a Death Star, and that planet became a Death Star, and now it's blowing up the moon. Like, my aunt lives on the moon. And you just destroyed her lovely condo. Dick. 24 hours. What happens in 24 hours?